to ensure that TSU's women's ice hockey team will be next uh, to drop to drop the puck. Bringing ice hockey to Tennessee State is uh, is just a part of a continued commitment to provide TSU students with new opportunities and to broaden the new interest in areas where they have been traditionally uh, had limited or no access. TSU has a tremendous legacy of athletics. Adding ice hockey to our programs will start a new chapter and build upon that legacy. Our hockey program will create new sports commitments, a new sports community within TSU, one that is more inclusive, more diverse as we ignite a new interest in the sports. It is our hope that while TSU is the first HBCU to start an ice hockey program, we certainly won't be the last. I want to commend the National Hockey League, Commissioner Gary, Gary Batman, Vice President Kevin Westbrook, who you will hear from shortly, College Hockey Inc. Executive Director Mike Nee, our very Nashville Predators, and CEO, President Sean Henry, for believing in our vision to bring ice hockey to TSU, but most importantly, for investing in this vision by creating a synergy and partnership to make it possible. I also want to thank Mr. James Isabel, that's him to stand, who got, thank you. Who, got, who got us started with these ice hockey conversations with the Freds by starting with raising a million dollars in one month. And Mr. Sean Henry was very instrumental in making that happen. So we thank both of you. So before I turn things over to Dr. Mickey Allen, Director of TSU Athletics, I'd like to acknowledge our State Senator, uh, Senator Charlene Oliver, and our State Representative, Representative Harold Love. I saw Representative Harold Love earlier. These are our lawmakers who represent the